Hey everybody, my name is Jared and I am a Master Mason in the state of Mississippi in the United States of America. And this is the Sprig of Acacia tie by Edgar Alejandro over at Masonic Revival. So you've done it. You've made it through your fellow craft degree. You are a fellow of the craft. Now what? Now, if you live in a jurisdiction like Mississippi, you have to turn in a proficiency, just as you did with the Entered Apprentice degree, but now so that you can be advanced to the rank of a Master Mason. So what's involved with this? Well, it's not really all that much different than your Entered Apprentice. In fact, usually progressing from fellow craft to Master Mason takes a significant less amount of time than progressing from Entered Apprentice to fellow craft because you've already learned the concept of returning a proficiency. You've learned how to memorize these things and there's not too much different between an Entered Apprentice proficiency and a fellow craft proficiency, at least not in the state of Mississippi. It's really just enough of a change to trip you up and make you second guess if you're saying things just the right way for this new degree. There are certainly new things that are said and there are certainly are things that are not said from the Entered Apprentice degree. But what can you do? Well, I think if you're in a jurisdiction where you don't have to return a proficiency, what you should be doing is at least learning about as much of what was taught during the fellow craft degree before the lodge just turns around and makes you a master mason the next week or the next month whatever their routine schedule is like take the time to ask somebody in your lodge what was said during the degree so you can sort of jog your memory because if you're not going to have to return a proficiency I would presume you're not sitting down with a mentor who's parroting this information back and forth with you so the only way to hear it a second time is either to go see another fellow craft degree or actually ask somebody to repeat these things to you they don't need to repeat it to you verbatim if you're not going to have to return a proficiency, but just ask them what the topics were so that you can go and do that research and learn a bit more about it. And I, I think that it'd be perfectly fine. Just walk up to somebody in your lodge and say, hey, I know I don't have to learn this stuff, but uh, I'd really like to understand it a bit more. I remember there being something about a staircase, or I remember there being something about astronomy and liberal arts. What what are liberal arts? And trying to get some kind of information so that you can go and learn a bit more about it. With any luck, you'll ask that question to a brother who's all about Masonic education. He'll tell you about the way it was done in his day. In this way, it's actually a good thing. So <laughs> listen to him. All right, so... Uh, learning your fellow craft proficiency uh, shouldn't be too difficult of a thing for you to do. You've made it this far. You, you already turned in your Entered Apprentice proficiency. Sit down with somebody, learn the few changes that are there, and be ready to turn in your fellow craft proficiency. Uh, it takes a, a little bit less time. There, overall, the length of the proficiency is less, at least here in Mississippi. Uh, so you have that to look forward to. And there really isn't any much more to it. you just got to put in the extra effort to actually get it done. So there you are. I can't share the proficiency with you. That's something that is not written down in Mississippi in any way, shape, or form. Uh, it's something that we solely do here in this state by mouth to ear. It has to be recited from one brother to another, and that's the only way to get it. So I know it's going to be different in many other jurisdictions. Some do it our way. Some have cipher books. Some have it completely written out. Some don't require it at all. Some may even want you to write a research paper uh, in order to prove your proficiency for this degree. So whatever the case is, I hope that you take the time to really understand it and not just push through it so you can get your master's degree as quickly as possible. Thank you all so much for taking the time to watch. We'll see you next time. Bye.